Not be the greatest rock and roll in the world, but it's certainly the most controversial. One London newspaper called them the most aggressive, nasty band ever. They're the Sex Pistols and they're led by Johnny Rotten. And they've already been barred from most of the leading London clubs, both because of their music and because of the violence they bring with them. And yet this group are leaders of a whole new teenage cult that seems to be on the way to being as big as mods and rockers were in the 60s. The cult is called punk, the music punk rock, basic rock music, raw, outrageous and crude, like their fan magazine Sniffing Glue, which is produced and stapled together by two young punks from Deptford. Punks have multicoloured hair, vampire makeup, ripped t-shirts held together with safety pins, swastika armbands, pink plastic trousers and tight leather jeans. <laughs> Anarchy in the UK, the latest single by the Sex Pistols. Mark and McLaren, you discovered and managed the group. Now, what about the accusation that you're more into chaos than anything else? Well, that's an accusation by people who really don't understand what kids want. Kids what want do excitement. They want um, things that are going to transform what is basically a very boring life for them right now. And music, young rock music, is the only thing they have that they thought that they controlled and if you look in the charts they don't really have anything to do with it my earliest memories of punk are the kind of intrusions it made on that top of the pops world they were not playing along with the idea of being a band and being a band in a television interview What about the word punk? It means worthless, nasty. Johnny Rotten, are you happy with this word? No, the press gave us it. It's their problem, not ours. We never called ourselves punk. Which bands do you think are really old hat now? Are you against the Stones and the Who? Sounds like that. Yes, of course, because they're established. They just do not mean anything to anyone. Punks have multicolored hair, vampire makeup, ripped t-shirts held together with safety pins, swastika armbands, pink plastic trousers and tight leather jeans. You can't buy this sort of gear in Marks and Sparks, so you have to go to shops like Sex in the King's Road. Finding places to play is becoming harder, thanks to the reputation punks are getting as troublemakers. The 100 Club in Oxford Street has banned all punk groups after an incident at a punk gig where a girl was nearly blinded. Uh, and at the ICA two weeks ago, a boy had his earlobe bitten off by his girlfriend, driven to frenzy by a punk group appropriately called Clash. And the Sex Pistols themselves even had to hire a strip club to get their music heard. Nowhere else would take them. With us also is Giovanni Dadamo. Now, I know you're very worried by the Sex Pistols. Why? Well... Well, very worried, but there are aspects of what they do or what they provoke that worry me, you know. I think if you go out and out to provoke people like they've done, people react, right? And it's all very well for Malcolm to say it's good for bottles to fly through the air or mugs, but if they hit you in the head, or if they hit Johnny in the head... You heard them, they're angry and they're frustrated. Now, do you think their music is worthwhile? Um, I've enjoyed it at times. There's times when it strikes me as a bit derivative. I mean, the great danger with the Pistols is that they can be boring, you know, their attitude can be boring, it can become boring. I mean, it's not, like I say, just destruction for its own sake is, is dull, ultimately, you know, it doesn't offer any hope, it doesn't really want to change, it's just saying, you know, we don't like this, we, we're different, look at us, you know, that's just attracting attention to yourself. I, I think it should be constructive revolution if it's going to be revolutionary, like, you mean a You have to destroy in order oh. to create. Yes, you know that.